Hey everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls Drinking Game. I'm your host, Red Panda Gamer, and this will be the last episode I record today. Uh, the only thing I'm drinking today is this Seagram's Escape Classic Lime Margarita. It's a baby drink. It's basically just soda that has a little bit of alcohol in it. That's what it seems like anyway. Uh, but that's all I have left. Like, I, I can't really... I'm not gonna drink more rum and coke, because it was kind of grossing me out earlier. Um... Eh. Plus, I'm already pretty drunk. And I don't think it's necessary for me to drink much more. Um... And this will be the last episode, like I said. We're gonna... We gotta go take on the Capra Demon today. Uh... Let's level up first, though. Hmm... Cool. All right. Um, so we got to go take on the Capra Demon, which I believe we do uh, now that we have the um, the mystery key, I think is what we need to be able to do it. But Oh, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. There's something else I need to do, too. So now that we uh, rescued, uh, what's his name? This guy, Lautrec. Now what we need to do is murder him because he's a jerk. That's a terrible reward. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> Not enough for you. Well. So the reason this guy's a bad guy is he was sent here to kill the firekeeper, which is right over here. Um, but we can give her this to enforce our Estes flask, and that'll make it better. Um, but he's gonna kill her if we don't kill him first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Cause he's a dick. So we went ahead and kicked him off the cliff, and now. What we can do is quit the game, essentially reload it. Um, there is a whole like side quest thing we can do if we keep him alive that I'm just not interested in doing at all. Um, where we like invade his game and kill him and get all of his armor. But I'm I'm not really interested in wearing his armor, so I don't I don't really care. Um, now I gotta see all these fucking logos. It takes forever. All right, drunk. That was my soul level one character, and then the character before that is the one I used to uh, beat the game. And we get the Ring of Favor and Protection, or more popularly known as the Fap Ring. Uh, the Fap Ring is fantastic because it boosts our HP, stamina, and our load. So basically, the amount of equipment we can carry, um, but we can't take it off. See how much it increases our health? Look at that shit, man. You can't see it. I'm pointing at the screen. I mean, you can see it, but you can't. Well, you can tell. Never mind. Um, ah, uh, god damn it. Yeah, so, you know, whenever I go to the bonfire, I have to drink, so. Uh, okay. Well, now I need to use this. I'm gonna use a soul item really quick. So, oh yeah, we don't get boss souls, do we? That's only something in Dark Souls 2? Really? That seems weird. Oh no! I didn't mean to use that. Oops. So let's use all these soul uh, souls of the lost undead and whatever. So we can level up again. Hey there. So yeah, today we need to go kill the Capra Demon. Which I'm not looking forward to, because I hate fighting the Capra Demon. And honestly, I'm probably just wasting a bunch of these souls, because I can only level up once. Let's level up Endurance, so we can get more stamina. Woohoo! Wait, what? Am I slow rolling? I feel like I'm fat rolling. Am I fat rolling? Or mid- I mean mid roll, obviously, but... Maybe I'm, I don't know, it feels like I am, but I don't think, I'm almost positive that I'm not. Um, so let's go grab that. Um, I'm trying to think of how I should do this. I always get confused at this point in the game, like what I'm supposed to do, like in what order. But I think the best way to do this is just go back from like the beginning. Cause essentially we need to go back to where like that first bonfire was. Cause we have access to that shortcut uh, with that ladder. 
And we're not really doing as much damage as I wish we were, but... Oh, well. Oh, no. Oh, my... That was two drinks. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, so tomorrow, or, well, the next episode I do, I'll have a different drink. And it'll be something that will actually be more than 3.2% alcohol. It's just, I, I wasn't, I thought I had a, you know, I, I knew I had a lot of alcohol here. Um, but I wasn't sure, like, how much of it I'd actually want to drink. Other than my, like, Blue Stoli and uh, Luminata. Because I just really don't like rum and coke. But I really do hope people end up suggesting drinks for the playthrough, because that would be great. And if you do suggest a drink, I'll be sure to credit you um, in the next video. But to oh, tomorrow's Sunday, or today is Sunday, because it's one in the morning. So I can't go to the liquor store till Monday. But I guess that's when I'll worry about it. Don't really need to worry about it now. All right, so now we need to go back to the first bonfire. You know, and that's the thing. Like, I don't, I really actually enjoyed being able to warp from bonfire to bonfire from the beginning of the game. It just made things so convenient. And, you know, I know this game is supposed to be hard and whatever, but there's, like, some things, like, are just so simple and make the game a lot easier in a way I really like. You know, like, Bravely Default had, you know, the ability to speed up battles and, uh, what was the other thing? There was another, oh, like, speed up battles and turn down or turn up random encounters. And I seriously thought that was the most brilliant thing ever. Like, seriously, it was so smart to put that in the game. Because it's like, well, I want to grind for enemies, so let me just run into an enemy after every step I take. Or I don't need to fight these low-level enemies. Just let me turn enemies off. And you could totally do that. Bravely Default was a great game. I mean, mostly. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and rest the bonfire just for a minute. I'm thinking about naming the episodes after the different drinks I have. But I don't know if every episode I'll have a different drink, so... I don't know how well that'll work. Maybe I'll start that for now, though. Maybe that should be a thing I'd actively try, though, is to have a different drink in every episode. It's fall, and fall is coming, so I bet you that some people have, like, their pumpkin stuff now. And I fucking love pumpkin spice anything. Like, a lot. Wait, what am I doing? Where, how do we, okay, here it is. I'm like, where's the stairs? Ah! Totally can grind for levels there. All right, now we gotta run this way. No! Oh fuck, I shouldn't have done this. This is a terrible idea. Don't kill me, dragon. Are we good? Okay, we're good. So now we go to this door. Yay! Cool. Alrighty, already, already then. So now this is where we go to get to I really am not looking forward to Capra Demon. I'm so bad at fighting Capra Demon. You guys, I don't want to, I don't want to fight Capra Demon. Can I just drop it? Oh, there we go. I knew there was, I thought, I could have swore there was a way to do that, but I couldn't get it going. All right. Praise the sun. Yes. All right, so this area, I absolutely hate. So we got dogs, which are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. The most annoying enemies in any game, for that matter. Somebody help me. I'm Aww. How could this happen to me? Hey, buddy. I freed you. Now I can destroy the world. Not really. This guy is actually a good... He's a good dude. He teaches us magic and stuff. How'd you even get trapped in here, buddy? Oh, hello. 
So yeah, see, in this game, you don't have to talk to people ten times to get them to go do what you need them to do. They'll just do it. Another thing that was pretty annoying in Dark Souls 2 was having to fill out all the dialogue trees. Though I will admit, I thought it was an interesting way to, like, force people to talk to NPCs. Because I do think that it's important to listen to what the NPCs have to say because it helps construct the world of Dark Souls. And when you just ignore them, it's like, well, you know, why bother trying to put this intricate lore into the game when no one's going to pay attention to it? What do we have here? More twin humanities. Cool. Yeah, humanity in this game is really weird, like, compared to Dark Souls 2. Like, I think in this game it feels the most pointless. Ah, oh, stop it, you jerk. Is that bleed? I think it's bleed, not toxic. I don't remember, though. I'm being an idiot because I know how much health I have. Oh, wait, how do we... Where's the shortcut at? I don't remember now. I should probably unlock that shortcut because it's actually really helpful. Oh, wait. Is it up here? I think it is. Yeah, it's up here. Yeah, this is a good shortcut to unlock. So now I have to deal with these buttholes. So you know, they're not really that much of a threat. Come here! Damn it. I meant to do the long stab. You're not going to bother anybody anymore, are you, boy? Ah, oh, damn it. Well. Oh, no. God damn it. Well, at least I unlocked the shortcut. So that's two drinks. I don't know what two drinks is supposed to be, though. That's the problem with my, you know... Oh, you know what? Something else I just remember that we should do. We should go to the shopkeeper... And uh, we should buy what we like, anything we might want. And then we should kill him so we can get the Uchi Katana. Because Uchi Katana is a good weapon. That you can only get from killing him, I believe. Oh no. Yeah! It's got him. Oh good, a crack round shield. This is what I needed. So let's go down here. Oop. Kill this guy because he's real mad. So mad that he broke through his boxes. Brrr. Hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Boom. Oh no. That's bullshit. He doesn't even have a shield up. How is he still blocking my attack? Do it. I need to try and get good at parrying, but I'm just terrible at it. I, I can't parry. And the, the funny thing is, like, I can't parry until the end of the game, like when I'm fighting Gwyn. Spoilers. But it's not really a spoiler. They pretty much say that he's the final boss of the game. So let's see. I think this guy might sell gold pine resin. I like this guy's voice. Oh, that's right. He has the gold soapstone, or the orange soapstone, which I should buy. It lets you get summoned. Texture thing important. Uh, bottomless box is also important. Both of these things are important. I should buy both of these things. I'm really glad I came here to buy stuff before I killed him. Uh, he also has the heater shield, and like I said, I really do think the heater shield is like the best shield in the whole game. 
Thank you kindly. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna murder him. In cold blood! I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, and then he says that, probably about his kid, which is supposed to make me feel bad, and it does. Alright, so now we got the Uchi Katana, which I don't even think we can use yet. Yeah, we don't have the strength to use it. How much strength do I need? Uh, how do we look at that? Let's see. The minis in these games are so weird. We need 14 strength, so we only need to upgrade strength once to use it. And I definitely think we should. It causes bleed. It's got really long range. I do really like the long sword, though. I'm kind of surprised by how much I like it. It's got a really good move set. Alright, so I got rest of the bonfire, which is another drink. So yeah, lots of busy work in this episode. Oh, you know what? We can just run across here again. And as much as I wish we could just run past these guys, we do still have to fight them. Oh my god. Yeah! Suck it. Alright. Oh no, please don't just walk off the edge again. It would be devastating if I just did that again. Okay. Cool. So that shortcut's super helpful. Uh, I'm gonna wait to Estes till I get to right before the boss, because most of this area isn't that difficult. I'm having a hard time seeing. There we go. Yeah, for, like the monitor, it's a monitor slash TV that I'm using to play this. And uh, the, co like the, the colors I'm having a really hard time with. Oh, that's right, we also gotta fight those assassin dudes. They're kind of annoying. Is someone shooting arrows at me? I feel like someone's shooting arrows at me. So we got dudes that come out of here. Oh, maybe they don't come out of here. Maybe they come out of another door. Is it this one? Yeah, there they are. Come on, you pussy. Might as well kill this one first. So these guys are mostly frustrating because they have a really insane counter attack that they can do that you really don't want to get hit by. I think that's all of them. I mean, not, I mean all of them for now. Yeah, that was like three of them or four of them. Mail breaker. I don't know what that does, but it sounds cool. We should check all the rooms. I thought there was another room where there was a guy stuck. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Well, there's the guy that was stuck in the sorcerer guy that was stuck. I thought there was another one. Secret ahead. I don't believe you, game. Quit lying, fool. So the main reason this area sucks so much is because you gotta fight the Capra Demon, which is a hard boss fight already, but then you gotta like go through this whole area, which is really frustrating as well. So yeah, when they put their swords like that, they're gonna counter, and the counter is like an instant kill. Shit! Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't get hit by it. That was really close. Yeah, but they essentially like, jump on your back and just demolish you. Yay, we got the thief set. Hooray. Now we can dress up like a thief if we want to, but I don't really want to. I wish I would have kept a pine resin for this fight. And then down here, I believe we can go to the depths. But I really don't want to go to the depths, because that level sucks. Oh no.
Oh, okay. That's fine. I'm gonna go over here specifically to get a weapon? I think I am. I hear... Oh, I know. This is a shortcut, isn't it? I'm trying to think of what shortcut this is. What shortcut is this? I really don't remember. Oh, it's this one. That's right. Hey, buddy. So this person will sell me moss, which we can use against poison or if we get petrified, which I really hope won't happen because petrification in this game is awful. All right. So that shortcut's open now. And that'll be a better... That shortcut's important a little bit later when we go to the depths, which I really don't want to go to the depths, but I probably will. But hopefully by then I have Dark Souls Fix installed so we don't have to deal with all this frame rate bullshit. Because it's just... It's really bad. Oh, that's right. We can't even go up any higher. Can we get much higher? Alright. So let's go fight the Capris Demon. Carpe Diem and... What is... I'm trying to just remember what's around here. Is this... Oh, that's right, because there's a locked door over here that we can only open after we kill the Capra Demon. That's right. I remember now. I remember how this goes. It's locked. So what we might want to do, actually, is when we inevitably die to the Capra Demon, we might just want to go back to the main bonfire and use that shortcut over there. The one we just unlocked, because we don't have to deal with as much shit that way. Alright, so the Cabra Demon, it's really hard, but there are some, like, exploit stuff to him. Like, the main problem I have with this fight is the dogs. You have to fight dogs, and they really suck. So, yeah, see, and he does really powerful attacks. God, I hate the Cabra Demon so much. All right, so we can, the nice thing we can do is we can come over here. And we can separate ourselves. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how that didn't hurt us, but I'm okay with that not having hurt us. We can do some plunging attacks on him and the dogs. Fuck. Okay, I got something, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, I killed one of the dogs. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck right now. Good. That's really fair! Okay. So let's just kill the other dog. Shit. I don't know what just happened, but I got hit apparently. Yeah, this level, this fight is so weird. It's because of like where you do the, like the stairs here are very strange. Let me just kill you, please. Dog. Dog! Die. I like What?! I don't even know how he hit me. <sighs> I'm just gonna go the normal way. We got close, though. Oh, that headshot. Look at all that blood. We got closer than I thought we would get the first try. So that's good, at least. Oh. That moaning sound always makes me laugh when the character gets hit. All right. So yeah, we, I mean, we did okay. We, I mean, basically, like I said, what we gotta do is you gotta fight the dogs. And then, you know, then you can kind of just like focus on trying to plunge attack Capra Demon. I just really hate the Capra Demon fight. I, I feel like everyone does. Oh no. That's the thing about this game though too, is there's a lot of boss fights that I really, really hate. Like, like straight up hate. Like, I don't think they're very well designed. And I think they're really frustrating to do. I don't feel like Demons or the Dark Souls 2 really has that. I mean, there's there's boss fights, because a lot of people complain that like the boss fights have like no personality or whatever. 
But I also don't feel like there's any boss fights that are really just so annoying to do. <gasps> oh no! Oh, I guess that's not an instant kill. I don't know why I thought it was. It does do a lot of damage though. Oh no. That was really close. Alright. But yeah, I don't feel like there's a lot of boss fights in Dark Souls 2 where I'm like, oh, I gotta do that fight. Like, I think they're all relatively well balanced. But yeah, but a lot of people just complained that, like, the fights had very little personality and all that shit. Which, I don't know, I didn't really feel like that that much. I feel like a lot of people had more problems with Dark Souls 2 than I did. I'm just really excited, really, really excited to play Bloodborne. Like, God, I just can't wait to see what they do. Like, it looks like a more act action, uh, you know, Dark Souls game. And I'm really excited to see what the hell that would be. Or I guess, ooh, that was close. But I'm just excited to see what a like more fast paced Souls game would be. Cause I can't even imagine what that is. Like, I can't imagine, you know, shielding, waiting for your attack, and doing all that stuff. I'm, you know, and I'm really excited to see what that would mean. All right. Oh, good roll. Good roll. See, that's the problem, is he can hit you from there. All right, got both the dogs. Oh, no. Did I drop? Oh, I, I hit him with the drop, but I didn't do any damage to him. All right, I need to heal. Yeah, see, the problem is he can hit you on the stairs, which is just ridiculous. Shit. Yeah, see, it's like a really small level where you fight him, and there's like... Oh, God, and he's got really wide attacks. That do a lot of damage and can break your shield. Oof. But I'm just gonna keep dropping on him. That, I just feel like that's the best way to do it if I want any chance of succeeding here. Yeah, we're getting really lucky with the types of attacks he's doing. The nice thing is, though, he doesn't have that much HP. But yeah, just so you could get a look at how much that lunging attack was doing. You know, just attacking him normal on the ground only does 30 damage. So, yeah, I highly recommend just doing the fight like this the whole time. Even though it's kind of cheesing it, I don't even care. Like, you know, you gotta do something. There we go, and one more should do it. Wait for him to do this. Nope, one more hit, two more hits. Woo, there we go. Victory drink, we can just drink the rest of this. So now we get our key to the depths. And I can end this episode. Uh, I don't know how long. This is probably going to be a shorter episode. But I'm out of booze. And I'm starting to get over being drunk. Which, you know, that I pretty much processed that shot I did, which was such a stupid idea. And, you know, I, don't, I really don't like shots. But I especially don't like shots of alcohol I don't even like. Wait, where am I going? I mean, I need to go to the depths. But there's no bonfire in the depths, is there? I don't actually know. But yeah, next episode I'll, I'll buy like a case of beer that I really like. If you, Honestly, if you want to help out, well, never mind. Forget, forget it. <laughs> I was gonna say something dumb. Um, but yeah, next up, for next episode I'll, I'll buy a case of like, str like strong beer or something like that. I don't know what I'm gonna buy yet though. 
just keep it chill. Because the thing about, like, I'm less likely to take risks if I'm making stronger drinks, so. Alright, so now we got a key to the depths. Uh, there's no bonfire down there, though, now that I'm thinking about it. So what we should really do is just come back up here, go to Firelink Shrine. I didn't even mean to backstab him, I just wanted to kick him. But I guess I got to kick him and, or backstab him and then kick him, which is totally good too. So I'm going to go uh, save, or I'm going to just end this, the video really, uh, at the Firelink Shrine bonfire. So thanks guys for watching, and the next episode we'll be going to the depths. Uh, it'll be a start of a whole new day, so I hope you enjoy these last three episodes. And I hope you're enjoying the series, you know? I hope you're excited that I'm doing Dark Souls videos. The problem with recording a new series, like, so much in one sitting, is you have no idea what people are going to think of it. Um, so I do hope you guys are excited for it, you know? My Dark Souls 2 series wasn't as popular as I would have liked. Um, but I really, really do love playing the Souls games. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy playing them, because I really have a lot of fun recording them and talking over them and uh this whole drunk souls idea i've been having a lot of fun with so far i can't believe how long it took him to get up so yeah guys thanks for watching this uh be sure to like the video it does help out a lot comment down below any of your suggestions for stuff i should drink and uh thanks for watching guys i really do appreciate all the support and love and uh yeah we can see this guy's back now he can teach us magic and i might actually do that eventually but for now, I'm going to end the episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And this skeleton man is going to die. Well, he's already dead, so I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that really means. Bye, everybody.